Taipei American School offers students helpful resources and supportive faculty, one of which includes Director of Upper School Academic and Personal Counseling, Mr. Ryan Haynes. Today, we will be uncovering what Mr. Haynes' schedule is like. How long have you been a school counselor? And how long, more specifically, have you been a counselor at TAS? In April, April will be my 20... Wow, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. In April, it'll be my 23rd year as a school counselor. And this is, I guess, all together, this is my sixth year at TAS. I worked here previously, 2006 to 2008, and then I returned in 2017. Upper School Academy and Personal Secretary Ms. Han has been working with Mr. Haynes for years. I've been working with Mr. Haynes uh, started from like uh, 2006 until 2008 is two years and then later on he came back around uh, 2018 until now it's almost three years. Although Mr. Haynes finds it easier to follow the upper school A and B day cycle, his schedule and responsibilities as a counselor are not always predictable. So, as you may know, the students in high school follow the A and B day schedule. Do you keep up with that cycle as well? And if so, how? Yes, I have it on my calendar. I have it on my calendar and also Ms. Han, our counseling assistant, she has it on the bulletin board. And so, by knowing the A and B day schedule, it helps me to schedule when I can um, meet with students. So, what does a typical morning look like for you? One of the things I love about my job, or I should say my career, um, no, in what, 23 years of being a counselor, no two days have ever been the same. So I was, I've been, I was reflecting on your question, what is a typical day? Um, uh, it, it's kind of hard to say, because, um, I, well, I, I come in, um, and some mornings there's students waiting to, to, to see me, or, um, or, or faculty members, and then, um, yeah, I just, I, I have you know, my Outlook calendar or Google calendar. I try to map out the day, but you gotta be flexible because things pop up all the time, which is what I love about my job. It's not very predictable at all. So a typical afternoon is the same? <laughs> yeah, typical afternoon is the same, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Though his morning schedule may be unpredictable, Mr. Haynes is still sure to greet all his fellow co-workers, including Ms. Han, every morning. Mr. Haynes came into office every morning with his big bag, and then he will greet a uh, good morning to us, and then sometimes he will uh, nicely ask, like, how are we going, you know, how are we doing? In the afternoon, Mr. Haynes' schedule becomes filled with meetings with other faculty or students. Oftentimes, Ms. Han has to remind Mr. Haynes to take his lunch break. He has a lot of meetings and then he sometimes has a short lunch. During the day, Mr. Haynes takes pleasure in his free time, more specifically his daily walks to and from school as well as his lunch time. Um, another favorite part of the day is lunch. Um, I enjoy that because that's my time to recharge. You know, um, that's why I'm very intentional about that because, you know, when you're interacting or actively listening all day, being on, it gets tiring, it gets draining, you know, and you're pulled in different directions or different meetings. So being, being able to have lunch or have that time to myself helps me to recharge. And then, um, and then I enjoy um, the end of the day because I'm intentional also about exercising and working out. And um, I, I look forward to that part of the day as well. Mm -hmm. And, well, also, I walk to and from work. I love that. It, well, it's a great way to start my day, get the blood pumping, get me thinking about my day. And then I love walking home. Just a nice way to, to unwind and reflect upon the day as well. So. Students can schedule meetings with Mr. Haynes online via the You Can Book Me website.
If students have any immediate questions, they can browse through a selection of brochures provided by Mr. Haynes outside the upper school counseling office. If they feel uncomfortable doing so, students can find an array of brochures in the office as well. This is Phoebe Chen reporting from Taipei, Taiwan for the Blue and Gold.